Good afternoon, welcome to the Midday Mall for Saturday the 17th of July. A day where we have seen prayers answered. We've had fervent prayers that the violence and looting and problems would stop this insurrection would come to an end and it appears to have that appears to have happened and peace and order are being restored and we continue praying God bed this down that it will continue um, for the future and show us how we can make a difference in it. Today following McShane's readings I was reading uh, Acts chapter 4 which is Peter and John were arrested after um, healing a lame man and they taken before the Sanhedrin who questioned them and eventually uh, uh, command them not to preach in the name of Jesus anymore and release them. They go back to the gathered church and tell them what has happened and they all get down and they pray together. They raise their voices to God, recite what God has done, where they are, and they end their prayer with the following from verse um, 29. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. That struck me. They didn't pray, Lord, consider their threats and give us protection. Lord, consider their threats and ensure that we're okay. They say, Lord, give us boldness. Help us to speak out for you. Help us to continue doing what we have been doing. Give us courage, we pray. And in South Africa today, we've got to pray, Lord, give us boldness. And it's something that I think I probably need to pray more. Lord, give me boldness in declaring the gospel. Lord, give us all boldness as we stand for you at this time when we, when we witness to you in this place. Lord, give us boldness as we do that. And then if we continue reading, we get to the point where the heading is the believers share their possessions. And everyone that had gave into the communal pot and it was distributed to everyone as they had need. And we told, and God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there was no needy person among them. And I think that's a challenge we're going to have to face as Christians in South Africa. There are a number of people that are comfortably off. There are a small number of people that are very well off. And there are a large number of people that are struggling. And at some point we're going to have to deal with this. Um, and we certainly don't want to just take away and throw, waste money, but um, we do have to engage and say, Lord, we want the same kind of justice that we saw in Acts, where the needy were not there, because those that had gave generously to support those that did not have. And so part of us, what we pray now is, Lord, change our hearts and our minds, so that give us boldness in this as well, that we will share Jesus and we will show Jesus in our lives. So be challenged by that and pray for God's help as you walk with him in these times and know his blessing.